All right, so in this video, I'm going to talk about mole to mole conversions, and I'm also going to talk about mass to mass conversions. So when you're studying stoichiometry, these types of con conversions are pretty common, and it's a good thing to know how to do them. So suppose we're given the following chemical equation. We have NH3 plus O2 yields NO plus H2O. So suppose we start out with two moles of oxygen. And I want to know the amount of NO in moles. So the moles of NO, that's what I want. Well, first, what we need to do is we need to balance this thing. This equation is not balanced, so we must balance it. And it looks like I'll get a 4 here, a 3 here, another 4 here, and then a 6 over here. How did I do that? Uh, I'm not really going to get into balancing chemical equations at this point. Um, if you want to see a video on balancing chemical equations, I have a couple of videos about that. Um, if you visit my YouTube channel and look in the uh, Compounds, Molecules, and Chemical Equations playlist, then you'll see a couple of videos on how to balance chemical equations, but for now we're just going to focus on the uh, conversions. So once again, I start out with two moles of oxygen, and I want to figure out the moles of NO. So it's a good idea to set up a conversion factor. So the thing that we're given is moles of oxygen, but I want to figure out the moles of NO. Excuse me, this should be O2. Very important. So I'm going to put moles of O2 on the bottom, and then I'm going to put moles of NO on the top. And then to figure out how many moles of O2 versus moles of NO you have, all you have to do is just plug in the respective coefficients from your balanced chemical equation. And so the coefficient in front of O2 is 3, so that means for every 3 moles of O2, and then we have a coefficient of 4 in front of the NO. So what, what this is saying is that for every 3 moles of oxygen that is consumed in this reaction, 4 moles of NO are produced. And that's how we re represent that with a conversion factor. So if we get 2 times 4, that's 8 divided by 3, we would get 8 thirds moles of NO. Suppose now we wanted the moles, instead of NO, suppose we wanted the moles of H2O. Then what would we do? Well, we have moles of NO now because our moles of O2 cancel. And we could start with O2 again and set it up and start all over, but we don't really have to do that. We can use any two of these things and convert away from them. So I'm just going to set up a second conversion factor instead of starting all over. And in this conversion factor, I'm going to put moles of NO on the bottom. And I'm going to put moles of H2O on top. Once again, uh, look at the coefficients. The coefficient in front of NO is still 4. And the coefficient in front of oxygen, excuse me, in front of water is 6. Making sure our units cancel, looks like moles of NO cancels out with moles of NO. And then all we have to do is just solve. So the 4s are going to cancel, and then 6 over 3, we can reduce that to 2 over 1. So it looks like our total answer for uh, moles of water is just going to be uh, 2 times 2, so 4 moles of water. So that's how to do mole-to-mole uh, -mole conversions. All you have to do is just, first of all, if, you, if your equation is not balanced, you have to balance it, and then you use those coefficients as conversion factors to convert from the unit that you're given in moles to the desired unit in moles, whichever one that might happen to be. So now let's talk about a little bit about mass-to-mass -mass conversions and how those are carried out. 
All right. So suppose instead of two moles of oxygen, we now have two grams of oxygen. So now we're talking about mass. One thing that you might be tempted to do is say that, okay, well, I'll set up a conversion factor and I'll put three on the bottom because that's the coefficient in front of oxygen. And then let's see if I want to, if I want to calculate the moles of uh, NO, then, or excuse me, the mass of NO, then I'll put three on the bottom and then I'll put four on top. And then that'll give me two times four, that'll give me eight thirds. But remember, this balanced chemical equation applies only to moles. It does not apply to mass. So if you're given a mass, you cannot use the coefficients in front of your molecules in order to carry out a mass to mass conversion. So there's two extra steps involved. Mass to mass conversions are slightly uh, harder or slightly more tedious than mole to mole conversions. They're not as easy, but they just involve a, a different step. That's all. So again, we want the grams of NO. So what we need to do is we need to convert this mass into moles and then do a mole to mole conversion and then we can convert away from that. So to convert oxygen to moles we use the mass of oxygen given from the periodic table. So on the bottom I'm going to put grams of O2, on the top I'm going to put moles of O2. And remember this is O2 so we have to take two oxygen atoms and that turns out to be about 32 grams per mole. This 32 isn't very exact. It's only, I mean, I'm just using it as basically a shortcut so that the calculations are easier. So again, we're looking for grams of NO. So now that we have the moles of O2, now we can use a mole to mole conversion like we did in the last one. And we have moles of O2 on the bottom, and then we have moles of NO on the top. For every three moles of O2, we have four moles of NO. So now we can use the coefficients now that we're doing a mole to mole conversion. We have moles of NO, but we want the mass of NO. So that means we take moles of NO and then we convert that into grams of NO. And if you calculate the molar mass of NO, it's going to be 14 plus 12 or 26 grams roughly roughly 26 grams excuse me what did I say I said 14 plus 12 I meant 14 plus 16 so 14 plus 16 is not 26 14 plus 16 is 30 grams for one mole of NO and then looks like grams of O2 cancels with grams of O2 moles of O2 cancels here moles of NO cancels here and we're left with grams of NO. So 30 times 4, that would be 120. 120 times 2, that would be 240. And then 240 divided by 3, I think that's 80. So this would be 80 grams of NO. So notice that we have to have a mass to mole conversion here and then we have to have a moles to mass conversion here at the end and then in the middle is where we make our mole to mole conversion so this is how to carry out a mass to mass conversion and these I think are more common than mole to mole conversions is because and the reason why is because they're they're more uh, practical uh, for instance if you're in a laboratory there's no easy way to measure the amount of something in moles but there is an easy way to calculate the mass or to measure the mass and we do that just by putting it on an analytical balance so definitely uh, when you're working with stoichiometry um, you know become familiar with how to use these calculations. Always, always, always um, make sure that you write out your units and everything like I did here and cancel them. That is very important. So, all right, that just about does it for math to mass and mole to mole conversions.